Sorry, folks. Nothing clever to say this time. What's up, Chevrolet? Here's some advice on show, don't tell. Show, don't tell is a very simple idea of showing how someone feels rather than just saying it. Yeah, it's a much more co harder concept to execute considering how easy it is to just tell people what's going on in your story. I'm guilty of this myself. So whenever I catch myself telling, I'll sit back and instead of just knowing what's going on, I will actually visualize what's going on so I can pinpoint exactly what I'm supposed to be showing. Heck, even sometimes I'll act out the scene, except when I'm at work, in which case I'll just use the emotional the stores. This way I don't look like a goon trying to pinpoint exactly where, where my, what my characters are doing. But I'm home now, so I'm going to act out how I act out my uh, scenes when I need to show. Uh, hey, Sunita. I'm sad. In writing form, that'll look exactly like that. Character walks in, sees another character, how's it going? This person is sad. In first person, I'm sad. They're sad. Just flat out telling the reader that there is sadness going on. Uh, hey, Sneo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Showing. No one said anything about anyone being sad. You saw from the obnoxious crying. I probably do cry like that sometimes. But you could point out the shaking shoulders, the sobbing, the sniffling. If you get to look at their face, tears running down from your eyes, you could all include that in your writing to show sadness rather than just say she's sad. All right, that's it. A very short and sweet advice video. Hopefully it helped you. If you like what you've seen, you could always subscribe to see more. I put up writing videos every Wednesday. And if you're like me who writes as well as has this love of video games, I put up video game related videos every Saturday. Uh, you could follow me on Twitter at Zanita D or you can check out my overly opinionated blog. All the links are down below.